Okay. So I'm going to talk about mastering here. Um, I discovered preparing for a radio station um, of some of the songs that I had um, done throughout the years, going back to them. So I was trying to find a, a quick, easy way to kind of get them all uh, the same. You know, good old uh, good old Apple there in 2002, you know, they put this stuff out, like multi-band compressor. And like I said, I just discovered this by accident, just, in a, you know, just to try to do it quickly. And um, there's four presets. I don't even bother saving presets because, you know, I'm always at a different computer. And these are basically in every MacBook, okay? So you just go find this, you know, in your AU list. And then look at this. Watch how this is effective. a little much but what I do is I exaggerate it okay and then I play with it to try to get them sort of all right so the, the crossover like where, where where do you put the crossovers so like you put the crossovers where they're kind of equal when it when it's at full noise you know so just, you know, you can use your, your eyes as a guide. All right, so this is kind of sort of equal. Uh, you can try the different, you know, mess around, whatever. Okay, so you get the idea. So again, I'm just kind of, one of my little tricks that I just kind of, you know, again to save time, exaggerate by, by pushing the pregain so that it's hitting all the different multibands, okay, aggressively. And then try to make it sound as natural as possible. Oh, hang on, I'm not doing this right here. All right, so now we're starting to equalize it a bit. Now here is where the magic happens. Turn this thing down. Turn this up. And just let it tickle. Just like that. And you could. So, when you when you, the, the nice thing about this um, multi, this technology here, or you know, is is that it's it's very transparent. All right, it doesn't try to be anything other than what it is, and <coughs> and your your adjustments are are, are pretty um, like there. Like so, it, it, what's important is to get these crossovers in the right spot, and and you want some some overlap between the two. All right, and you want a relatively fast attack, and a rel you want these to be fast, okay, so that it contours with the music. Um, depending on, on, on what style of music, you can switch this, but if you're going to be doing any kind of live or any kind of anything that's, that's you know, hard and going for your maximums, 
you, you, you generally will go for a fast attack and fast release so that the, uh, the compression uh, is, is acting more of like an envelope instead of just a gate which turns on and then slowly releases. Um, that's a, a different, that's probably more effective if you were multi-tracking and you were saying like recording a voice, you'd probably do that that way, a uh, bass guitar, um, so that it just kind of blends itself out. But, you know, here in, in, a, in a mastering, it's, I always find it's better to go much faster. Okay, so you just hit OK. All right, so it's a little bit larger. All right, and sometimes I'll hit normalize and and uh, basically, that's kind of it. I mean, there's there's a bit of a peak over here, and so if you're going to do another another um, a go at it, you just basically. I mean, I like the old. I like the waves. So what I would do is uh, at this point, we'll just take the um, L1, um, this guy right here. You know, another really old. You know, and just pull this down. I always give a little bit. My, my, between point three and point four. I never go to zero. I don't know, just a habit. second master there you go all right so you have this it's your final you know, you're, you're not flipping nothing it's right at the red right there it's as loud as you, you can you can saturate it more but the, but then you'll change the sound of it and then uh, so yeah so basically that's it now I'm just gonna hit normalize <laughs> 